Hello, this is Nikki from Nikki's Crafting Corner. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode two of constructing my idea book. Um, in this episode, I will take care of the um, outer side of my book. So here you see me um, ripping a piece of calendar page from last year to size um, because I want to make a topper for my front cover. So a little bit of inking around. Um, I really want to have a torn and kind of shabby look to my topper. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with this page. This is an artist um, calendar from an artist called Marjolein Bastein. I think she is Dutch, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, these images are so gorgeous, nature related, um, a lot of florals and animals and things, um, a little bit like the modern Edith Holden, very pretty. So now I'm um, putting everything I want to have on my um, cover down to see how it looks and how I want to arrange everything. I want to have a layered look and I want to have different layers, some lace, some fabric. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at what I like and how do I want to arrange everything. Okay, now I'm sure um, what I want to have uh, in the background of my topper. So I'm starting to glue everything down. This is a piece of um, book page with this pretty Gothic font I love so much. And um, yeah, this is a must for me in collages and things. I really love this font. This is a fabric from a bed sheet. And um, most of my fabrics I get for free or um, for very, very little money from our church thrift store. And um, yeah, I love this pattern with the florals and um, the colors. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. So I'm using my tacky glue for this, I think. Is it my tacky glue? Yeah, I think so. Um, I'm smearing it uh, with my finger because I want to prevent it from zipping through my fabric. I'm really pushing down into the crease of my spine and going to the back cover. So putting down everything, securing it with my glue. And I really want to make sure that this will last a while. So now I'm arranging a little bit and uh, making sure that this is what I want my front cover to look like. This fabric was a little bit too wide for me, so I ripped off a piece and um, laid it down again. I didn't want it to cover my elastic at the bottom. Thank you. 
I'm happy now how that looks and I'm gluing down this strip of pretty cotton fabric. It is uh, the same one that I have uh, inside my book on the spine. So I really wanted this uh, theme or I really wanted this to be, um, to see that again and uh, to continue this pattern on the outside of my book. So it really puts everything together, I think. And again, I'm going um, right through the back of my book, my back cover, and smearing my glue down to put uh, this fabric onto my cover, going into the crease and making sure that the edges are glued down. I want to have a little bit of lace underneath my topper, so I'm looking now and arranging and um, yeah, trying to lay everything down. So I'm happy with all the layering and yeah, starting to glue down what I like. I've got this little piece of curtain at the top of my topper. <laughs> that really sounds funny to me. Um, yeah, it kind of smoothens the edges a little bit, I think, if you have some lace underneath um, between the linen cover and the thick paper topper. Now I'm deciding what is the right size up for my lace. And then I start gluing down my topper with my hot glue um, because this is an easy way and it glues down very quickly and is really, really secure on my page. And as you can see, I have glued this down on three sides. So I have a pocket there. I show you the pocket now. Um, yeah, as a kind of sweet little secret on the front of my cover. I'm not very fond of overly loaded covers and rishes and um, laces and things, but um, this cover still is relatively plain, I think, and I really want to have a kind of cluster at the bottom there. Um, just to yeah, feel that everything is complete and um, there's a lot going on in my opinion for my liking, um, but not too much. And these are pieces of my antique lace, very, very pretty, very delicate. And um, I think it was a curtain. No, it was a table runner and um, really, really pretty. I love the pattern with the florals, um, big and smaller florals and um, yeah, and the net in between. So now I'm gluing everything securely down with my tacky glue, um, going over the spine again onto my back cover. <laughs> 